U.S. President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin will meet for their first official summit on July 16th in Helsinki. For more on this and other news around the world, we turn to Ardo Aram at the News Center. So, Aram, the still the big unknown is, will we see a thaw in relations between the two sides? Also, I mean, it is hard to tell at the moment, but it is a first step towards reaching that goal. It will all come down to what is discussed between the two leaders and if any concrete results come out of their talks. The date and location were announced simultaneously by the White House and Kremlin on Thursday. The White House said in its statement that the two leaders will discuss relations between the two nations and a range of national security issues. The Kremlin issued a similar statement. It remains to be seen whether or not contentious issues such as alleged Russian election meddling will be touched upon. That is one issue that has sent tensions between Washington and Moscow spiraling into a near Cold War low. Helsinki, the venue for the summit, as it turns out, is famed for its Cold War diplomacy. The date, July 16th, has also been set to follow Trump's trip to NATO a NATO summit in Brussels and a stop in Britain. NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg welcomed the talk, saying he also wants a better relationship with Russia. For Putin, the summit will offer a chance to try to persuade Washington to lift some of the U.S. sanctions imposed on his country. They were imposed over Russia's 2014 annexation of Crimea, its support for separatists fighting the government in eastern Ukraine and its alleged meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. However, the upcoming meeting will be closely watched by U.S. allies in Europe as well as Russia skeptics who want to isolate Moscow over its leader's continued hostility towards the West. They are also concerned that Trump is being a bit too friendly with Putin. The pair have met before on the sidelines of international gatherings and have spoken on the phone at least eight times.